Hey everyone, welcome to the Maryland Magram Center. Today we are going to show you three different ways you can measure the potential of hydrogen ions, mainly known as pH. I created a pH scale going from 0 to 14, 7 being neutral. Anything that will turn red, it will be considered to be acidic and it will be from 0 to 7. 7 will be blue. From 7 to 14, it's considered to be alkaline and it'll be going from a blue to a green. The Department of Food and Drug Administration suggests that most microorganisms will not grow at a pH below 4.6 and thrives at 4.6 or above. That's why measuring the pH level of your food is very important, especially in fermented foods. We have pH strips that they have their own color chart. This one starts at 4.6 and goes to 6.2. The way it works, you insert the strip into the solution, change color, and you just compare it. We have a digital indicator that has been calibrated. Before using any digital, read the instruction on how to calibrate your digital instrument. And last, we have our red cabbage. Because it contains a water-soluble pigment called anthocyanin, it changes the color of the solution. We're going to be using the solution that we created by boiling uh, the cabbage in water and we're going to use that solution as our natural indicator. It will turn red for acid, blue for neutral, and blue-green for basics. And we are going to be using the cabbage indicator for our strips and for our digital. We can start by pouring in our cabbage indicator into the baking soda. We can see we're starting to get the bluish green color. Water turns blue. Our lemon juice starting to turn pink. Our vinegar, a pink red color, just like the lemon juice. Now we're gonna use our strip. We're going to go with the water, which is the neutral solution because of the range that we have the strips here. The range starts from, goes from 4.6 to 6.2. Hold it for a couple of seconds and it looks like it's getting, it's going more towards 6.2. With the digital, we're going to be using, measuring the baking soda, vinegar, and lemon juice. We'll just turn it on. Just don't forget that every time you use your digital, you wipe it down or clean it properly. That's another thing you might want to read into, read the instructions to make sure you are cleaning it properly. We will insert it into the solution just enough to get the glass. Get some of the reading. 8.15. We have to wipe it down now. Now we'll be reading our lemon juice. Two point six six. It is very acidic. We clean it again to make sure we get an accurate accurate reading. Try our vinegar. 3.02 
and it's very acidic as well. There you have it. We'll show you three different ways to measure your pH level in your foods with a natural source, which is cabbage, red cabbage, pH strips, and digital.